Hi, thanks for watching. On my last video, I received some comments regarding the walls and the veins of giant leaves. And I see what you can see because about four years ago, I made a video asking if the leaves would have decomposed, petrified and left a mark on the ground which was where the walls were built. That kind of made sense. And, well, they're no good for agriculture or livestock. But these suggestions that came in the comments, well, they were actually suggesting that the remains of the veins of the leaves themselves had somehow formed into the walls as we see them but we'll look at that and I also think that when these walls were inherited there were no gates or gaps that was their idea right so you can see by some of the designs that they really make no sense and they, they somehow at times resemble the veins of leaves. And that's another thing. What about the roads? The roads seem to have been there as well. Although they're pretty narrow. And, like I say, there's no way this is for agriculture. And it makes absolutely no sense for livestock. This is the Aran Islands. I'll go back to the Aran Islands in a minute. But I find this intriguing. This, this design on this wall where every few yards they've got stones making up uh, it looks like a design but it's actually to give the wall stability but they've incorporated the same design in this house well half here because I think this could be an extension or this could be an extension. Either way, they're not connected to the walls. They're butted against them. But how old the house is, I've no idea. And there's another one that's done the same thing. And there are walls everywhere. Right, so... Now we can look at some leaves and the patterns of the leaves and they somehow do resemble some of the patterns that we see with the walls. And they do leave an imprint. Right. I love that one. Right. So it does happen. Right. This is the Aran Islands. I'll show you where they are in a wee while. But <laughs> these islands, there are more walls than you could shake a stick at. They are literally everywhere. And they're all shapes and sizes. Uh, they don't make any sense in the mainland. They certainly don't make any sense on this island. It's actually three islands. And they are literally covered in walls. And this is, this is like scrubland. It's not pasture land. I think half of this is missing. 
think something's happened here. And people actually sit here just to give you a size of scale. In fact, there's somebody sit high. There you go. There's a couple of kids playing football. Right, so look at the size of them. To this. And you can see all the lines and all the cracks and all the tree stuff. And this is also in the Aran Islands. And they actually tell you this is natural. This was caused by water. Smart water, obviously. And this is on the islands. So there's lots of walls. And we'll talk about that later. Unbelievable place. Right, now we going back to the walls being the actual veins, eh, the leaves. I think this is where it falls on its head. Because the walls have got regional variations. They're different. They, they are built different in different parts of the country. So I don't see how this would work if they're different everywhere. They would have to all be the same, but they're not. So, I mean, I'm no want to stop people speculating, but I think that idea is, doesn't hold water. And I think this is an ancient wall, and this is one that's been done later. Like I say, they're all different designs. Right, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm saying the gates and the entrances are our idea. Another thing, I read a few years ago when I was researching this that the historians at some point were sometimes suggesting that the walls were to keep wolves at bay. Really? This is a wolf. It's pretty big. And this is a wolf with an adult husky. So no, I'm not thinking the wolves had anything to do with keeping the wolves at bay. Right, so <laughs> the gates, they were our idea, because when the walls were inherited, we had none. And there's variations on the entrances, this is to keep in the livestock for passing through. And that's a style. And you just try and put a block on it and do it. And it, it, this again. These are no original designs. And you can actually see where it's changed here. So, no. They were added. And that one's deliberate. You can, that just so blatant. Right. So you can see where that wall here has been changed. And the same as it's been changed here to make this. 
Not a bit shabby. Right. So let's let's talk about the amount of walls. The 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 mileage will blow your mind. First of all, we'd like to get down here to the Aran Islands in Galway Bay. Like I showed earlier, these islands are literally covered with dry stone wall. Right up to the cliffs. And I think at one time beyond. So, let's see how many miles there is. Now this island is only 8 miles from here to here. That's it. In fact, I think that's half the island. I think it probably went around here. But, that's another story that I put in another video. Right, I'll put a link in the description. So, 8 miles long and right, let's check out how many miles a dry stone wall or the Iron Islands. Today the islands are a spectacular grey-green labyrinth. The maze of walls enclosing tiny green fields, occasionally enclosing a shaggy horse or cow. The three islands occupy only 18 square miles, according to one estimate. They contain 1,500 miles of walls. These walls are repairing the walls, obviously, and it takes four trained wallers, four experienced wallers, one day to do two yards, roughly, and each yard weighs approximately a ton, right? So it takes them all day to do two yards, weather permitting, obviously. So that would mean it would take four experienced wallers approximately two years to do a mile. Right. And there are variations on with these how these walls are built in different parts of the country. So each yard weighs approximately a ton and it would take four experienced men two years to lay a mile, only if all the stones were nearby, at hand, without going searching for them. So how many people, or how long did it take to do the walls on the Aran Islands? And you go, you ask yourself, what population? They're telling us farmers done it. How many people work on a farm? Have they got time to do this? <laughs> Seriously? Because what, what, we're, what we're told and what we're shown regarding these pyramids well, it would seem that the entire population took part because these stones weigh two ton at a piece. So, just like the dry stone walls, the way we're told these were built is nonsense as well. And each stone block with a pyramid weighs approximately two and a half tons and the whole pyramid weighed 5,750,000 tons, right? 5,750,000. So let's see how much the dry stone walls weighed. 
I'll start with the Aran Islands and the 1500 miles of dry stone wall. Right. Keeping it simple. For every mile, there is 1765 yards. Now, again, keeping it simple, we'll consider each yard weighs a ton. So, we've got that amount of tonnage multiplied by 1,500 miles, which equals 2.5 million tonnes, which means, theoretically, you could gather all the stones on the islands and form them into a pyramid shape half the size of Khufu's pyramid. I was searching to do the UK by region and I was going to start with Scotland but then I get told this there are around 180,000 miles of dry stone walls in the UK 180,000 Okay, so we'll have the same amount of tonnage per mile, this time multiplied by 180,000, which would give us a total of 317,700,000 tonnes of dry stone wall across the UK. When we all connected, well, thanks for watching. Please comment.